Welcome back. We are here on eToro and this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, 25th of September 2020. And we are going to look at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And uh, right in front of me, I have the uh, daily chart in WTI oil. And as you can see, we have rallied quite substantially to in today's trading session. We rallied all the way up to the 200 moving average and we got rejected at the 200 moving average. Um, at this point, if we break the 200 moving average, we have the 50 moving average just above. And as you can see, that has been uh, we have tested that only a few days ago, and that has also been significant resistant. So we may see um, if we go past the 200 moving average, we will definitely um, test the 50 moving average, and that will most likely be resistant and will pull back from there. There is no reason for this market to go significantly higher as uh, the world economy is basically slowing down. And... Um, and um, yes, and that basically hurts is, uh, hurts demand for oil. And of course, that drags the price down. Uh, subsequently, the, the US dollar is appreciating at this point. So that also um, hammers the price of uh, oil. Um, the technical indicators are quite uh, positive at this point we can see that uh, stochastic has crossed the signal line and is basically an upwards momentum uh, and the macd is also above the signal line is also a uh, positive momentum and the rsi is basically right in the middle but um, fading rallies is probably the best strategy here every single time this gets close to the 50 moving average that is basically a, a selling opportunity as I don't really see this market going significantly higher. If we break down from here, we can look at the Fibonacci retracements and we can see that we will most likely in the probably long run fall all the way down to $30 and then to $25 and in worst case scenario down to almost $20. Uh, if we were to have a, a significant outbreak of coronavirus this, uh, this uh, in the coming months, um that is quite likely we may see economies basically um, um slow down even further and of course that will have a very negative price uh, effect on the price of oil so if you look at natural gas so natural gas again has rallied today we rallied all the way to uh, to um, 85 and that is um not even the top we basically broke yes we didn't get to the top yet but uh, so we may even see this market go even higher i expect this market to go and retest the highs uh, uh of this rally here which is at the 294 um and if that if we break that we will go all the way to 3.36 uh, and even higher this has all to do with um, uh, the weather conditions in the United States. As long as uh, uh, temperatures are at record high, um, this market will uh, just explode to the upside. Um, we're not overbought yet. Um, our side, the stochastic is looking really uh, positive. And we also cr are crossing uh, the signal line here, indicating that we have a bullish momentum um, so we may see this market go and retest re this high here before going higher. Um, this was the uh, bullish flag, which basically has broken to the upside. So every single time this market basically fades uh, close to the 50 moving average, that is basically a buying opportunity for natural gas. So copper. Copper did fall quite substantially today. We fell uh, way below the 50 moving average, all the way down to 2.91. Um, and then we basically, uh, it basically jumped up again. So this is uh, a very bullish uh, hammer that we can basically see here. So at this point, 
because we got rejected here, we may see this price go to the alt uh, to the highs here of uh, 3.11 um, and continuing basically its growth. Um, I don't really see us going because we basically got rejected here. If we had a candlestick uh, under, uh, basically underneath here, um, underneath the 50 moving average, then I would expect us to go all the way to 200 moving average. Uh, but at this point, that is quite unlikely. Even though the technical indicators uh, like the MACD and the stochastic are very negative, and if we look at the at the weekly chart, which is also fairly negative, we are about to have a bearish um, crossing of the uh, of the MACD, and we also have very negative uh, stochastic. I don't expect this market to break down significantly. If we have additional surge in the US dollar, probably, uh, or the economy slowing significantly down again, then yeah, probably. But uh, it looks like uh, 50 moving average is very resistant. And, uh, and um, as long as that is the case, we will go higher from here. So if we look at gold, So gold broke down uh, all the way down to uh, 1846 and then rallied. Uh, we still is quite negative candle. And if you look at the technical indicators, this doesn't really look uh, very promising. Uh, we did break out of the, um, of the triangle uh, a few days ago and we broke through the 50 moving average at this point the we're targeting 1800s and we may go as low as to the 200 moving average we may see something similar to this we may even go through the 50 moving average and this all depends on whether or not uh, the US dollar appreciates more or or and and so on so um, I'm not going to sell this market because the long run uh, forecast for gold is that we are going to go much, much higher. As long as uh, the Federal Reserve and other central banks are printing money and basically throwing liquidity at this market, um, that will have a bullish effect on gold. So uh, at this point, I'm just gonna wait, see how low basically this uh, this market goes, and when I see this market turn around, um, that is basically the uh, buying opportunity for gold. So silver, it's very similar. We broke down quite substantially. We went all the way down to twenty one uh, twenty one dollars for 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 gold, uh, not for silver. I'm sorry, um, and we may actually go further. I did expect us to go all the way down to touch the 60 uh, Fibonacci retracement. Let's see where we're going. We didn't get all the way down to the 50. 50 is around $20 and um, we'll most likely go down to 50. But uh, we can see that the stochastic is about to turn and cross. So this may well be as far as silver goes. If we have a crossing of the stochastic and we have bullish momentum to the upside and the same goes for RSI is also uh, pointed upwards. Uh, we're technically waiting for the MACD. There's quite a, a big different distance between the signal line and, uh, and the moving average. So uh, this probably will take a few trading days, probably sometimes next week for, for the MACD to basically turn around, cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum to the upside. Um, this is all similar to gold. The long run, this market will go higher. We just got way up ahead of ourselves. Uh, this market tends to explode to the upside, similar to uh, to natural gas and so on, when it basically takes off. So we have Gokoa. And Gokoa rallied quite substantially and gave back its gains and we stopped at the 2.59. Um, 
at this point, we'll probably go down to the, and it, it will be fantastic if we went all the way down to the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average. That will be uh, a very good entry to this market. Um, at this point, the uh, technical indicators are fairly negative. You can see the stochastic is basically downward momentum, and we're not oversold, not overbought in the in the RSI. Uh, MACD is not indicating that we're going upwards. We're basically in downwards momentum at the moment. So we may see this market fall a little bit before going up. We're going to have a golden crossing within the next one or two trading session, which will cause uh, quite a lot of noise. And I do expect this market to continue upwards. We have been making higher lows. So that means that we will go higher from here. So platinum. So platinum, platinum did rally uh, today. We crossed the uh, 200 moving average yesterday. And now it looks like we're about to turn around in this market. We can also see that the stochastic is about to go upwards. We'll do something like this, cross the line, and then we'll have bullish momentum uh, to the upside. And uh, we'll target this level, which is 979. And in best case scenario, we go to uh, 1.001. Um, there, well, as, as the technical, we'll probably just wait for the MACD to basically also give a sign of bullish momentum. And when we have the crossing of the signal line, that is, a, that is a time to basically to enter this market. If we were to break down to, the, to uh, even more, then this area here, this entire area here should be uh, supportive. And also this area here should also be supportive. If you, if you basically just... Look here, Historic, uh, historically, we basically were uh, stuck in this area for a quite a long time. You can see we also bounced from that area. And if we were to break through this, we will go all the way down here, and this will be additional support. So there's a lot of support in, within this area here. So I do expect this market to continue uh, upwards from here. So I had a comment, uh, basically giving you a comment section that, that wanted an analysis of a sugar. So I've never traded sugar, but uh, I said, why not? Um, so this is basically the daily chart of, of sugar, um, sugar contracts. So, so I'll give it a go. So as I see it, that we have quite a lot of support uh, in this area. If I mark it up. I can see within this area here of 0.1142, uh, there should be quite a substantial support. We also have support uh, in this area here, which is at 1176. Uh, um, and we have the 50 moving average here, which also is support. We are currently trading above the 50 moving average. And as you can see, resistance is should be around this area. We have tested it several times. That is at 0 0.3023. So at the moment, we are basically trading sideways. We are uh, bouncing from these lows, this support area here, to this resistant area. And, uh, and we're just technically bouncing like this. Um, it doesn't look like the 50 moving average is doing anything significant there are there's probably a bounce here from the 50 moving average otherwise uh, it doesn't seem like it has any effect it's basically the supporting and resisted area here which is the range of this trade so at this point momentum is to the upside so we'll probably go and retest these highs before we go down so we'll continue if we were to break through this uh, resistant line, we'll go to the next resistant area, which is around this area. Now that's this area here, just above, uh, which is at around around uh, zero point uh, thirty fourteen uh, seventy, 
And if we break that, we'll go all the way up here and, and to these highs here. So sugar uh, did break quite substantially when, uh, like most commodities, when uh, the world economy gets in trouble and we basically shut down, uh, this market absolutely crashed in March, April, and all the way to May. And since then, we are trying to, to um, gain again to the upside. Uh, there are probably, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this mar market, we can see that we have, we are just above the signal line we are about to hit the other fibonacci retracement which also is resistance for this area so this area here should be massive resistant we're running into uh, historically resistant and we're also running into the uh, fibonacci retracement at 61.8 so at this point we are technically just tra uh, trading sideways if we were to break to the upside we go to this level. If we break to the downside, then we'll go down to this area here. So I hope you find this uh, video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the support button and the like button and clicking the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and uh, happy trading.